Hi everyone, really good to see you again. Where are we? We're in a wet and windy and miserable London. Got a bit of deja vu going on here because behind me, we have Harrods. Now, the last time I went to Harrods was for a breakfast and that didn't go too well. Now a couple of, a couple of months ago, I went to Heston Blumenthal's pub and I had fish and chips. Now loads of you recommended to me that I try Tom Kerridge's fish and chips here at Howard's. Now, I don't know what you think I do for a living, but this one's going to be really expensive. Oh dear, my poor wallet's going to take a pound in again. As always, let's give it a go. Okay, so we're in Harrods uh, Food Hall, and we've come to Kerridge's Fish and Chips. I've got the menu in front of me. Before I start there, really nice ambience here, nice background music. Yeah, it's very, very good. The thing that surprised me is there's only three uh, tables here for seating for two. Next to me is a table with four people to sit at, about 10 places at the bar where you can eat. I thought it'd be a lot bigger, a lot, lot bigger. However, very, very nice staff and really, really pleasant as well, but you'd expect that. Onto the menu. Uh, we've got bits and bobs, classics, sides, we have caviar here, uh, simply grilled, etc., etc. So you take a look at the menu. Uh, me, I'm going for their market day fish, uh, and they said that today's market day fish is haddock. Uh, that comes with peas pudding, a curry sauce, triple cooked chips, and some mushy peas as well. Price? £37. Pounds. This really needs to be very, 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 very good. Okay, I'll see you guys when the food arrives. Under their bits and bobs, I was thinking, shall I have a chip butty? Uh, but their white bread roll and uh, butter is £6. So I think I'll give the chip butty a miss. Again, I'll see you when the food arrives. Okay, so my fish and chips has arrived. As I said, it's haddock. Uh, I've got my three sauces there. I think I might have made a mistake in the beginning and said I've got uh, mushy peas coming. I actually meant tartar sauce because we've got the peas pudding there. So peas pudding, curry sauce, tartar sauce, the haddock, my uh, lemon there, which is nicely covered, and the chips. Now, I have more th fingers and thumbs than I've got chips. There's nine chips there. Oh, hold on a second. No, still definitely nine chips. I thought the, uh, the piece of fish might have pinched a few. Okay, let's dive in and give it a go. So, I'm gonna start with my triple cooked chips. I'm gonna have to savor these. Very nice chips, nice and crisp on the outside, and very fluffy in the middle. Real nice potato flavour there, very, very good. I'm going to try it with some of the curry sauce. Curry sauce is very, very sweet. There's a little bit of a kick to it. Very sweet curry sauce. Try it with the peas pudding. Mm. 
It's very bland. I personally would have preferred mushy peas. That's quite bland. Now. Let's try the haddock. Let's see, it's not the biggest portion I've ever seen. Take a look inside there. Right, not a huge portion. The batter is actually nice and golden. Very crisp. The batter is gluten free. There's not a huge flavour to the batter either. And saying that, the haddock is nice and flaky, it's got a nice uh, haddock flavour. The criticism is there's not an awful lot in there. Okay, let's try to squeeze the lemon. Again, very, very poached. I'm going to try it. It's in tartar sauce. It's all falling apart. It's a nice tartar sauce. The sauce is nice and creamy. Again, not a huge amount of flavour in it. I'm really, really surprised by that. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to crack on here. And I'll see you guys shortly. And I actually mean shortly because with my eight chips left, and that portion of haddock, it, it won't take me very long. See you, Mia. See you shortly. Okay, so I'm going to pay for the bill and I'll see you guys outside. Be prepared. Okay, I've come outside to do the review. Got a little bit busy in there. But let's say the weather it kind of reflects my mood. Onto the food. I had three different sauces there I had peas pudding, I had tartar sauce, and I had the curry sauce. I'll start with the curry sauce. The curry sauce is quite sweet and it was a little bit watery. The tartar sauce was okay, it was creamy, didn't have a huge amount of flavour. And as for the peas pudding, that had no flavour at all. The chips, nine chips, sad I could count them, but only nine chips. Uh, nice and golden on the outside, um, crunchy, and had lovely potato content. However, no seasoning on them. Okay, I had to put the salt and vinegar on there just to get a little bit of taste out of it. The haddock itself, that was a poor piece of haddock. It was fresh, there's no, no issues in regards to that. It was uh, flaky. But my God, that was just a very, very small portion. The batter itself was nice and golden. Uh, but again, the batter really was almost tasteless. It was very, very, very disappointing. Kind of the star of the show was the lemon. The lemon had a nice flavor to it, but everything that was there on that plate wasn't great. And as a plate, it didn't look very appetizing as well. Portion size wasn't great. 
You've got to bear in mind I went to Heston Blumenthal's. So that's Michelin star uh, restaurant. That wasn't a huge portion either. However, everything on that plate was top, top, top quality. What was on this plate certainly wasn't. You know, when you come and you're paying 37 pound, you expect every single element not to be there, there. It's got to be right up there. It's got to be top quality. And that wasn't, it generally wasn't. Okay, so on to the bill. For my fish and chips, it was 37 pound, and there was a service charge of 12 and a half percent. I have no issue with the service charge. The service was very, very good, very attentive, but you would expect that. I've got to bear in mind, I've gone to Harrods. So I've got to expect to be paying a premium price. However, what I do expect to come out is a premium meal. And that was very mediocre. And I mean very mediocre. That was a ridiculous price to pay for fish and chips. Wouldn't say it was a ridiculous price if it was top level, although I'd say actually it was, would be a little bit ridiculous. However, that was, as I said before, mediocre. What am I gonna give it? I'm gonna be generous here and I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. A three out of 10, my lowest ever score for any meal whatsoever. And I really champion quality over quantity. But on this occasion, I had neither. I'd really love to hear your comments. Quite a few recommended that I uh, gave this a try. And I've got to say, I can't believe how disappointed I am. Really can't believe it. As always, if you could like and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And until next time, a very disappointed Gary is saying, bye.